like a lot of other people maybe you are wondering why is tdjx trending and here is what we know about this trending story america's most prominent pastor tdjx began trending on the internet today that is the 21st of december after a tiktoker made certain shocking claims regarding the christian preacher a TikTok video from a user calling herself Maeshir surfaced on Twitter, alleging that the R&B singer Casey Ventura, the ex-girlfriend of PDD, has supposedly handed over evidence to the FBI incriminating Didi a month after she filed a lawsuit accusing him of heinous acts of violence during their decade-long relationship. In the video, the TikToker then went on to claim that there was also an email that incriminated Didi's close friend, Pastor T.D. Jakes, who allegedly slept with multiple men at the Suarez. You know, those evening private parties at Didi's residency. Maesha also played a clip of an unknown man alleging that Casey had turned over those tapes to the FBI. And that's why these wild claims and unsubstantiated allegations have made people on social media to conclude that T.D. Jakes is gay and he could be Diddy's bitch, you know. And that's why he's trending. That is the story. Anything, this is allegedly. Ain't nobody gonna catch me slipping, okay? Okay. So allegedly, Cassie has turned over evidence to the feds. Yes, to the feds. She has turned over videotapes, a USB drive, and Kim Porter's burner phone. Now, there is also an alleged email out saying a plethora of other things that include T.D. Jakes with Diddy. I'm going to let y'all listen to it. I'm not going to say nothing else. As here, yo, bro, Cassie has turned over substantial amounts of evidence to the feds. I'm told that after Cassie had a long conversation with Blank, I have to protect this person. They're going through a lot right now. And her lawyers, she finally was convinced to give up the videotapes and audio recordings that contain footage of S parties and other private gatherings that feature some pretty powerful and prominent people. I'm also told that multiple male escorts corroborated the fact that T.D. Jakes have slept with multiple men at Diddy's parties and abroad, and they refer to him as being a power bottom. Wow. It's also been said that a young male has acquired a lawyer to represent him as he is set to sue Jakes for an incident that took place when he was just... Years old. It's been said that the young man was forced to perform sloppy toppy, and I'm paraphrasing here, guys. You can actually put two and two together to understand what I'm trying to say. Ooh. It's been said that the man's family were members of the Potter's House, but left the church in 2015. According to multiple church insiders, the parents were paid off to keep quiet. The guy's a grown man Ooh. now and is seeking his own justice. It's been said that the young man doesn't even deal with his parents even to this day because they took hush money. According to Pastor Blank, and I have to protect his pastor bishop jakes is about to get railroaded and all of his dirt will be exposed that's why the bishop has quietly lawyered up he sees his fall from grace coming shalom i want to start off by giving all praises honor and glory unto yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham raka kodash double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that knew well Peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. This is Brother Yeroshalam. You know, beginning with the 144,000. This is Brother Yeroshalam. Coming at you with another video. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai Basham, Raka Kodash. The name of this one is T.D. Jakes, a false prophet exposed. Alright, T.D. Jakes, a false prophet exposed. And um, I want to take this time to give all praises to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai for this. You know, for these wicked ass false prophets these pastors these wicked ass priests you know are a major device you know a device they they literally are a sword of course a sword means a destroyer it's a destroyer right created by esau to destroy our people you know true false doctrine you know and and this is what this is what these devils do you know, remember the scripture um in fact let me get at let's get the book of um Let's get the book of Habakkuk. Alright. Habakkuk chapter 2. Now remember first and foremost. That um, Esau Edom. Alright. Is the sword of the Lord. Let, let's get that first. It's the book of Psalms. Chapter 13. Is it Salakia? I believe it's 17. Let's get Psalms 17. And verse 13. It says. Arise. 
O Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, you know, which is thy sword. Now we know that the wicked is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, according to, you know, Malachi 1 and 4. Alright? You know? So, they are the wicked, they are the sword of the Lord. Now let's see another um, characteristic of this devil. What does this devil do? Alright? Let's go back to Habakkuk 2. And verse 4 it says, Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also, because he transgressed by wine. What's that wine? That's the doctrines. The doctrines. All right? And men like T.D. Jakes, Bishop T.D. Jakes, snakes. All right? They have sold out our people. You know, his Potter's House Church is a 501c3 charter church. All right? And he's, he's a part of that secret society, which, which was revealed recently here. You know? So he's one of the, he's one of the swords that this devil uses, you know, um, to push this wine, this false doctrine, which keeps our people in a destroyed state. All right? It says, he's a proud man, neither keep it at home, who enlarged his desire as hell and is as dead. Yeah, the T.D. Jakes, um, Creflo Dollar. Um, what's this one? You know, the, the big brother, um, the guy calls him Hananiah. This is, um, uh, what's his name again? Oh, I forget his name, but anyway, he'll come back to me. All right? Oh, Lord, this is his eye as hell and is as dead and cannot be satisfied, but gathered on them all nations and he bet on them all peoples. And how he does that mainly through the doctrine, through that false prophet, first and foremost, the Roman Catholic Church. But people like um, T.D. Snakes, T.D. Jakes, you know, they follow after that. All right, because he, he came and actually admitted, you know, this is T.D. Jakes, that he follows the Trinity. What does that say? That it proves that, it, that all of these, um, these so-called um, Christian churches, you know, they're all extensions of the Roman Catholic Church, which is that false prophet. You know, that false prophet. Okay? And they're pushing what? This the wine of this devil, which is a sword to destroy the minds of our people. All right? This thing is real. All right? Now, now let's get a precept here. I didn't um, intend to bring this one out, but as the Spirit of the Lord, Isaiah chapter 1. All right. And I'll start with verse 3. It says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. Right? They don't know. Why they don't know? Because why? For 500 years we were in slavery. And then we were brainwashed by these devils using some of our own people, members of our own people, wicked men uh, in Israel, you know, to push their wicked ass doctrine um, during slavery times. You know, they had the slave Bible, right? And they would preach certain things and tell you that, you know, hey, you know, a slave should obey his master and whatnot. But they wouldn't preach other scriptures, you know, telling you that, you know, if you're found in your master, in, in, you know, if, a, if a man be stolen and found in his hand, he should be put to death. It's roughly paraphrasing. All right? They don't tell you that. Okay? But this is the reason why the Lord talked about, um, and I'll come back to the scripture here, Lord willing. This is the reason why the Lord said, among my people are found wicked men. Let's get that. Book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 11. What does it say? In those days there went out of Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. Right? And this is what they did when they signed that 501c3 charter. You know, every member of the church become a ward of the state. You know, the state owns you. All right? So, so you, they're selling you out, pretty much. All right? It's the same thing like the, like the clergy response teams. You know, they're clergy response. You know, they, they, they set up there to, to have you brainwashed and to obey everything that the state does, everything that the government does, which you would government Govern goes into, into um, to control and men goes in your mind. So these clergy response teams and these pastors and these churches, you know, they set up there to, to, to make you go off, to make you obey everything that the state does, you know, whether it be the, 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 jump, the three point jump shot, the squid game, you know, that Jake was playing, a lot of Jake play and now they've been unalived. Whether it be the, um, the C hip, which is the major prophecy that is about to come upon the face of the earth, that, that RFIT C hip. You know, the microchip. And and best believed, men like men like this, 
guy who, who is now exposed, Jakes. You know, he, he, he's a big part of that. These guys is, what they, is who they're going to use to push it for these Jakes and churches. All right? So it says, um, 1 Maccabees 1 and 11, In those days went there out of Israel wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. All right? Pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward hearing that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. All right? Build up all these churches, which these churches, there ain't no Holy Spirit in there. You know, scripture talk about that in the book of Acts, chapter 7 and 48. Acts also, um, chapter 17 and 24. Right? You know, these churches build with hands. All right? Solomon's church was built to specifications of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Lord don't rest dwell in any building. Right? Lord temple is really you, your body. All right? So, this, so hey. Yeah, I'll show you these, these are what wicked men. Now, let's get another precept here. Let's get the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 26. Let's see what it says here. It reads, For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set it snares. Right? They set a trap. They catch men. Right? They, they, a lot of people were caught. By, by um, T.D. Jakes, you know, charismatic manner in which he preaches his eloquence of speech. All right? But the Lord warned us about those things too. All right? You know, the scripture talk about deceiving men through what? Fear speeches. All right? Fear speeches. Let's get that. Lord willing. All right? Let's get it here. Romans 16, all right, and verse 18. In fact, I'll start right here, verse 17. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid them. Right, you know, this, this man here, T.D. Snakes, you know, he, you know, he's going against the doctrine. Here it is, you know, this guy, you know, doing men, you know, in the ass. Pretty much. Alright, or he but he's the one taking it, but it doesn't really matter. It's all abomination in the sight of the Lord, right? Which the Lord forbid in Leviticus 20 and 13. Alright? The Lord forbid these things. Right? Because they are an abomination to the Lord. They're against his law, statutes, and commandments. Alright? And he do not, and he coming and he preaching out this doctrine. He preaching false doctrine, as a matter of fact. Talking about you know salvation through faith in G in, in Jesus Christ. No. The letter J wasn't even created until 1524 and not used until 1600. So, we know we're going off talking about um, faith healing in, in JC. Everything is in JC. The second coming of JC. But I have news for you. Ain't no white man coming down. All right? It's a so called black man. According to Revelation 1 and 14, um, 1 and 13 down to 15, Revelation, uh, I'm slack it in Daniel 10 and 5. Right? Yahweh Shai and Mashiach is the true name of the Lord. And these devils know it. These wicked ass pastors, they know it. You know, and that's why they're going to be judged so heavily. You know? Um, let's read the NLT, Romans 16 and 17. And now I make one more appeal. My dear brothers and sisters, watch out for people who cause divisions and upset people's faith by teaching things contrary to what you have been taught. Right? Stay away from them. Right? Because there's a lot of big following in this guy. This guy, I believe, have... 17,000 people attending his church, his church every week, you know, you know, but at the end of the day, what is he preaching them? Filth, false doctrine, all to make himself rich, all right, verse 18, it says, for they that has such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, but their own belly, their own personal interests, right, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple, so the smooth talk, the glowing words, all right, you know, it deceives the so-called innocent people, which you know what the perish being innocent. All right, but as the point, you know, let let's um, let me go into this word here. All right, let's get into this words. We gotta go into words. All right, good words.
Strong's G5542. Christalagia. Christalagia. All right. It says fair speaking, smooth, plausible address which stimulates goodness. Right. Um, good words, fair speeches. So, A, you know, just words. All right. To deceive you. Let's get Crestos. Fit for useful, mild, pleasant. Pleasant. Some smooth. You know, remember the scripture says, um, tell us smooth things. And this is what the prophets, the true prophets say the Lord will not do. You know, prophesy on us deceits, smooth things. You know, the, the prophets say the Lord ain't going to do that. The true prophets, the true men of the Lord, they're going to say, does say at the Lord or not, not all. This is Isaiah 30 and 10. It says, in fact, verse 9, it says that this is a rebellious people. In fact, verse 8. Now go. Write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Right, the Bible was written. That's the book that was written. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which say to the seers, the seers are the prophets, see not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, Prophesy these seats, and that's where the uh, TD Jakes, Creflo Dollar, and all these guys come in. All right, you know, they, they speak smooth things, all right, and fair speeches, all right, and that's how they deceive. Now, let's go back to Jeremiah 5, verse 26, right, verse 27. It says, And as a cage of full of birds, so are their house. In fact, let me read verse 26 over for among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set its snares. They set a trap, they catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. You know, T.D. Jakes is rich. You know, what was the, what's the, um, what's his net worth? Let, let's find out. Right? Right? Let's, let's find out. Okay. TJX 20 million network in 2023 is indicative of his substantial influence in the realms of spiritual right. He's been used as a, as a freaking um, sword, as a device. Because why? You know, he has influence in spirituality in Jake, the so-called black church, which black church is, is, is gone, is, is filth. All right? Leadership and media. His ability to connect with diverse audiences and his entrepreneurial spirit have positioned him as a transformative figure in contemporary, contemporary Christian thought and practice bullshit. But look at the man. The man is rich. All right? They seek after money. These guys seek after money. They love money. All right? The scriptures say the love of money is the root of all evil. And that's facts. Okay? Jeremiah 5 and verse 28. They are waxing fat. They shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. Alright? They don't, they don't deal with um, telling Jake who they are. Alright? Because this devil knows, knows that exactly. He went to a small church gathering. Alright? And he said plainly, you know, we, um, we blacks in America, we mainly come from the tribe of Igbo, the Igbo. Which Igbo go back to Igbo, Hebrew. Right, which he said, you know, we they call us the black Jews. He made that statement. Yet he went back to his big church, he put his house. You know, and he went and he, and he confirmed and said, No, we are Gentiles. Yeah? You know, these men, these men are you know, hey, these men are these men are, are, are fucking devils, man. Fucking devils. Liars. Alright? He knows he knows where the Israelites. Alright? It says they judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper, and the, the right of the needy do they not judge. Shall I not visit for these things? Say Yahweh Yahweh Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? And that's why the Lord is bringing them down. This is why the Lord is exposing these devils. All right, you know the five hundred one C three, the secret societies, the allegiances. You know, look, look, look. Why the hell? If you are such a, a, a religious man. Why the hell you be dealing with a man like P. Diddy? Alright? A man who's unknown, you know, uh, uh, um, um, fruit man. I say a batty boy. You know? 
unknown, unknown, um, you know, uh, 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 um, I don't care if I'll be careful with my words, a child offender, you know, you know, why, why would you associate with that? Why would you be singing happy birthday when you, when you know that, hey, in the scriptures, only the heathens did this and, and birthday worship is one of the biggest witchcrafts out there, you know, in, 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 in witchcraft land, all right? So these men are not men of the Lord, all right? You know, and, and, and this is the great awakening and the Lord is telling you, hey, wake up out of sleep. It's high time. High time. So wake out of sleep. Yeah, that's, that's it there. Romans 13 and 11, let's go. It says, um, Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe, because prophecy has shown us that. We've seen World War Three on the horizon. We've seen the, 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 the sea hip, the potato chip, being, being re getting ready to roll out with Elon Musk brain chip. You know, hey, hey, it's, hey, it's right here, right at the door. This is why the Lord is doing this now for the elect to wake up. For those elect that in these churches, in these potter's house, in all these other places, you know, all these other churches, to wake the hell up. Realize what you what what you've been shoveling in, you know it's shit. You no, know, it smells stink. Get away from it. This is um the book of Zechariah, chapter eleven, verse four. It says um, for thus saith Yahweh, my power feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them. Right, you know, Jake's possesses that Potter's house church. We have all these seventeen thousand Jake's and more. All right. And, and his ministry around the world, right? You know? And hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them, because they sold them, they sold them out not when they don't know. That's why they 501c3 chartered, all right? Tax statute chartered. No tax on tithes and offerings. No tax on motor vehicle purchases, all right? They sold you out. It says, Blessed be your hour, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Alright, their own shepherds pity them not. They don't care. You know, they busy um he busy partying with Diddy. Alright? He busy he busy having a, a, a great time in wickedness. Alright? In wickedness. Right now 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 let's go back to the precept that I was holding. I'm trying to remember what it was. Um let's see, let's see. Right. Isaiah chapter 1. Okay, because these devils, these wicked ass pastors, they've been used to keep our people control, mind control. Alright? We no longer have shackles around our neck, you know, a yoke of iron around our neck and our hands, manacles, fetters on our fetters and whatnot, around our foot. Right? Now it's on our mind, you know? And they, these guys. These guys like these pastors, they use they, they, that's what the devil uses to, to destroy our people. Verse 4 says, Isaiah 1 and 4, a sinful nation in people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken your hour. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint, right? Because of these wicked ass pastors. Right, and the leaders of Israel who sold out made a covenant with the heathen from the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there's no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment because that ointment is this truth. You know, a lot of these people still in these churches. This is why the Lord has to be doing this now. This is why the Lord is taking down the idols of Egypt, right, to awaken the balance of the elect. And once the elect is sealed, that's it for this place. All right? Now I'm going to jump down. Um, let's continue reading, actually. Isaiah 1 and 7. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence. That's right. Those issues over across there in our land. Right? The issues, the small hatters. That's our land. Land of Israel. It says, and it is desolate as overflown, overthrown by strangers. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Except Yahweh of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, 
we should have been a Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. So if it wasn't for the elect's sake, you know, the Lord would have, this whole nation would have been destroyed. But the Lord has his elect, which the Lord is bringing out, you know, even more now so by um, exposing these bitches, that these bitch ass uh, 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 fruit men, party boys, right, who so-called, who so-called lead in Israel. Okay? And let's expose, let's bring some exposure in the law into what they're doing. Let's get Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. What does it say? It says, um, If a man also lie with mankind, as he lied with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall be, they shall, they shall, they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Right? Now let's get Leviticus 18 and 22. It says what? Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. Right? So there you have it clear. This is what these men are. They are abominations. Talking about Potter's house. Alright? These men are abominations. Okay? That's facts. Right? Jeremiah chapter 23. So like here. Let's get that again. Jeremiah 23 verse 1. It says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Say at Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Therefore thus say at Yahweh power of Israel against the pastors that feed my flock. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings. Say at Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So the Lord is visiting them upon them the evils. That's why now they're going to have to hold lawyers. They're going to have to fight that fight now to clear the name. And it's not going to be clear. That tarnish is going to remain. Why? Because your Yahweh power of hosts is bringing these devils down. He's bringing them down. He's bringing them down. All right? All praises to his holy name. God, these men, these men are no good. Just as the scripture says, and in fact, I was going through Isaiah 1, Let's get Isaiah 29, verse 9. This is what they do. Um, Isaiah 29 and 9. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry you out and cry. They are drunken but not with wine. Right? That's, they're drunken but with, with false doctrine, philosophies of the devil. Esau Edom. You know, which is what Esau tells these guys like Jake's to preach. All right? They are drunken but not with wine. They stagger but not with strong drink. For your Hawa had poured upon them, upon you, the spirit of deep sleep, and had closed your eyes, is what he did to these jakes. The prophets and your rulers and the seers have he covered, these seers, these prophets, these bishops, all right? They covered, they covered, the eyes covered. The Lord covered them and made them stay in their wickedness because they were created for that purpose. The Lord said he deceived and he deceived are his, all right? Because it's funny that he called it the potter's house, but we're going to get into that, all right? Okay, so these prophets, they, they, you know, they, they, they're blind. Verse 11 says, And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot for to seal. And the one that is learned is the one that went to the seminary school, which TJX did go to a seminary school and got his master's in whatever, degree and master's in theology and whatnot. The cemetery schools that the elder apostle Tar calls them. Right? That's what they are. Because it's dead doctrine. Dead. Right? Verse 12 says, And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Right? That's for those pastors who didn't go to the seminary school. Wherefore, Yahweh said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips to honor me, but I remove their heart, which is their mind. Your heart is your mind. La'ab in the Hebrew. All right? Far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precepts of men. Yeah, what 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 TD Jake say, what Esau Edom tell them to preach. Alright. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder, for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. Right. So the wickedness being hid, it being exposed. That, and that's how, we, that's how we destroy these devils' wickedness, by exposing them, because they, they strengthen their secrecy. All right? Verse 15 says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and their works are in the dark, 
and they say who see at us and who know it. That's what T.D. Jakes and them thought. They, they, they were thinking that, you know, who seen me, who know at me. No, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai seen you. Scripture says the angels are the Lord, the, the eyes are, are, you know, the Lord is 10,000 times brighter than the sun. <coughs> Salakia. All right. So the Lord seen you, and now the Lord is what? Exposing you. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Right? He called himself, called his church the potter's house. Right? But you, you, you are, the, you, Lord fashion you for wickedness. Right? To deceive. But now the Lord is destroying you. All right? Esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he have no understanding? Yeah, well, you, 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 you stupid. You know, you thought the Lord, you, th you thought the Lord um, have no sense. Not, you're not going to see what you're doing. <laughs> no, no, waking, the Lord is waking up his people. This is the time. All right. Now let's get the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 18, verse 1. The word which came to Jeremiah from Yahweh saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house. This is where he got um, the, the, the name of his church from. All right. The potter's house. And there will I cause you to hear my words. So you know you 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 blaspheme in the Lord. You know, talking about the Lord told Jeremiah, go down to the potter's house. You call your your, your church the potter's house. But here it is. You ain't listening to the words, you ain't hearing the words of Yahbashim Yahweh Shai. They're not sent unto you. Alright? T Jakes. Alright. You know, let's read verse 3. It says, Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter was damaged. So he made it a, a, again another vessel as seemed good to the potter to make. Then the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai came to me saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, saith Yahweh? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, saith Yahweh, your house of Israel. Saith, um, O house of Israel. And at and what instant I shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it. So the Lord said what? He could destroy it at any time. That's really NLT. It says, um, verse 5, Jeremiah 18 and 5, Then Yahweh gave me this message, O Israel, can I not do to you as this potter has done to this clay? As the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, if I announce that a certain nation or kingdom is to be rooted, uprooted, torn down and destroyed, but then that nation renounces its evil ways, I will not destroy it as I had planned. Right? Right? Um, so the Lord, the Lord is the one in control. The Lord is the one doing his do. All right? Let's get Romans. Romans 9, verse 21. And verse 20 says, Nay, but O man. In fact, verse 19 says, Romans 9 and 19, Thou, thou wilt say then unto me, Why doth he find yet find fault for, for who had resisted his will who gonna resist the lord will you know nay but O man who art thou that replies against the heavenly father shall the thing formed say to him that formed it why hast thou made me thus hath not the potter power over the clay of, of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor all right and you know to go into esau and jacob but also unto these wicked ass pastors is wicked ass, evil ass jakes. Two third jakes. Right? Because the Lord said the deceiver and the deceiver are his. These men are not right. You know? You know? These men are not right because they know the truth. They know about the Israelites, but they would not preach the truth. Right? They would not preach the truth. Now let's get the book of um, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 20. Yeah, 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Heavenly Father standeth sure, having this seal. Yahweh Shai knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Hamashiach depart from iniquity. Because they, these men don't name the name of the Lord. Right? That's why they continue in evil. You know? As I was saying before, that's why they continue in evil. 
You know, they talk about now he's coming out, coming out trying to deny it. He, he can't deny it. Evidence will be seen. The Lord has saved it for this purpose. The Lord set up these women like Case, um, Cassie and they to keep the evidence to bring it out at this time. All right, because we're about to enter into a period of time, you know, of the 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 sea hipping, right? Also, Jacob's trouble. So the time is close. So these things have to come out now. All right, Second Timothy two one twenty. But in a great house, they are not only vessels of gold and silver. The elect are likened unto gold and silver. Scripture talk of us be talk about Lord willing us being purified in the fire of adversity, right? But also of wood and of earth. And some to honor and some to dishonor. Right? If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use. Right? And prepared unto every good work. Right? That, that, that vessel goes into the, the pottery. You being a, a good pottery that can hold good doctrine. Right? 100% doctrine. Verse 22 says, Flee also youthful lusts. But follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, and them that call on Yahweh Bashim Yahushai out of a pure heart, a pure mind. Alright? You know, and this is what it is. But these men, they're not pure. Alright? They're not pure. Okay? They're not right. They have youthful lust, wickedness. Alright? This is what they'll be about. Alright? And that is the reason why the Lord is going to destroy. This is the reason why Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Is bringing them down. Um, let's get the book of um, the book of um. I believe let's get Isaiah. Yeah, let's get Isaiah. So like yeah, let's get this the book of Isaiah. Prophet Isaiah, chapter nineteen, verse one says, "The burden of Egypt, behold, Yahweh rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt." And the idols of Egypt shall be moved in his presence. All these men like T.D. Jake, she's a, he's an idol of Egypt. Right? And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight everyone against his brother. And everyone against his neighbor. City against city and kingdom against kingdom. And all these different stars. Alright? They're going to be fighting against one another. When shit the fun, you know, when Diddy started to expose... Certain things that Jakes was doing with him at his parties, his late night parties, which the Apostle Paul spoke about, all right, with revelry and whatnot, all right, you know, he, you know he's going to deny it, of course, you know, but the evidence is going to be there. So he's setting them against one another to destroy this place. Isaiah 19 and 3, and the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. All right? And, and it is not going to help them. All right? It's not going to help them. They've done wickedness. Right? You know, they can they continue in it. Isaiah 21, verse 9. It says, And behold, there cometh a chariot of men with a couple of horsemen. Right? The, the angels. Chariots are the, the so-called UFOs, all right? And he answered and said, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, and all the graven images of her gods he had broken onto the ground. So he saw set up all these jakes as gods, right? Primarily in America, in the tribe of Judah, right? Because Judah is the lead tribe. So all these other jakes in Babylon, America, and around the world, you know, follow after them in wickedness to keep us in what? In sin, so will be ever destroyed. This is what this was their plan. Right? Psalms 106, verse 34. This is what they, they been, they've been doing. It says, uh, um, yeah, it says they did not they did not destroy the nations concerning whom Yahweh commanded them. Right? Jake didn't listen. But were mingled among the heathen and learned their works, right? Men like uh, uh, uh Diddy and Jake's. Because these are works of the heathen. The Romans. You know, the Greco Romans practice Batiboyism. You know, and this is what these people are doing because why they want to be part of these secret societies. They want to be part of these people um society as a whole in wickedness. Alright? Verse 36 says, and they serve their idols which were snare unto them, right? Yeah, they they, they serve in Baphomet, 
they bound down to Molech. Best believe these 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 they be doing that. Okay? Are these their rituals? Okay, these wicked ass jakes. It says, Yea, they sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto devils. Believe it, best believe uh, uh, um, Kanye West came out and spoke about how you know he sacrificed his own mother. They they do these things. Alright, don't think it don't think it, it, it's it don't think it's strange. Don't think it's this this thing is um impossible. This is what they do in secret. Right? And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Right? Thus they were defiled with their own works and went a whoring with their own inventions. And this is why the Lord said he hated he hate his people. You know, he hated his own inheritance. This is why, you know, he took he, he, he took cast us off from being his people. Alright, because of these wickedness. Because of these evils that was being perpetuated by, by the Israelites. Okay? And yet still, these men cleave unto wickedness. Even though the prophets on the highways preaching this word, they still want to continue in the evil ways. Alright? You know, uh, um, and all praises to Abashim Yoshai. This has to come out because these jakes, they're mad upon the idols. Jeremiah 50 and 38 says what? A drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up, for it is the land of graven images, and they are mad upon the idols they worship, and they mad in love with, with these celebrities who they set up. But the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is bringing them down. The Lord said, if a, if a city be divided, it, it can't stand, and this is what the Lord is doing. Yahweh Shai promised that he would do it. Luke chapter 12, verse 51. Let's see if I get that. It says, suppose ye that I am come to, to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. For from henceforth there shall be five and one house divided, three against two and three against three and two against three. And they, they're going to continue. Some are going to hold on to, to Egypt. The elect also among them going to come out and believe in the truth. Right? You know, they're going to come out. Alright? Because the Lord is showing forth signs. To get out it to get out from among these people, these wicked ass jakes. Like 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 all like these guys here. Um Ezekiel 13, verse 3, it says, Thus saith you how a power woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Right? Like Jakes. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. They have not gone up into the gaps, right, on the highways and byways. Neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. Right. They have said they have seen vanity and lying divination. The Yahweh say it, um, saying the Lord say it, and the Yahweh Bashim Yahushai had not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word that, that what they tell them will come to pass. Right? But it's not gonna happen. There's not gonna be any peace. Verse 7 said says, um, have ye not seen a vain vision? And have ye not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say, Yahweh saith it, albeit I have not spoken. Therefore thus saith Yahweh power, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies, therefore behold, I am against you, saith Yahweh power, and my hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people, Neither shall they be written in the house, writing of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am Yahweh power. So these guys have to die. They have to die. You know, Jake's, if he doesn't repent, he has to die. Verse 10 says, because even, because even because they seduced my people, people saying peace, and there was no peace. And one built up a wall, and lo, Others dubbed it with untempered mortar. So the wall is that truth. And they, they try to cover over the truth and dub it with untempered mortar. Right? Which is false doctrine. Right? But it's going to fall. Verse 11 says, Say unto them that which dub it with untempered mortar, that it shall fall. There shall be an overflowing shower of this truth. Of this truth. This truth is flowing and, and washing away the lies. And ye, O great hailstone, shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rent it. So the Lord is, is, is bringing out his truth. The Lord is bringing out his truth. Alright? 
And there's nothing they can do to stop it. Right? Nothing they can do to stop it. Second Ezra 2, verse 27. It says, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which had been so long without fruit, shall be declared. And it's been declared even now. Right? And if you do, if you cleave out for these men, you're not going to make it. Right? Because the Lord said clearly, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai said it um, in the book of, um, let's get the book of Jude. Jude 1 7 it says, it says, um, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, going after strange flesh fornication, following false idols. Right? Which sometimes have a sexual connotation like what these devils do, these wicked ass pastors and celebrities, right? Which what they what they what they um they forced to do, right? Which is which is wickedness, you know, eating human feces, drinking period blood, you know, having sex with man with man, woman with woman. That's wickedness. Going after strange flesh, yeah, that's strange flesh. Right? What else? I set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance. Of eternal fire, which is the, you know really the lake of fire, America be destroyed. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers, right, defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignitaries. So they're not going to proceed any further, right? Revelation twenty-one, verse eight, it reads, "But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable, which they are abominable, Jake Sunday." and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death, the ICBM nuclear missile destruction of America. That's going to be their portion. You know, that's going to be, sad, sad will be their portion. All right? Because they refuse to turn from the wicked ass ways, you know, and speak the truth. All right? Ezekiel 20 and 7, Then said I unto them, Cast ye away every man the abomination of his eyes, and defile not yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am Yahweh, your power. So the Lord is telling you, Hey, defile not yourself. When you see these things, flee from them. These things are a sign. These things coming out now, and these guys being exposed for their wickedness is a sign. Flee from them. Right? Flee from them. Alright? Run, run as fast as you could. Alright? Because we didn't have much time. This is the book of Sirach. Sirach chapter 5, verse 7. It reads, Make no tiring to turn unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And the day of vengeance is close. The day of this society being destroyed is very close. Of this world, this age, this aeon. It, it, it's, it's right around the corner. The Lord said to do what? The Lord said to arise here and depart, for this is not your rest. For it is, it is, it is polluted. Right? It will destroy you. Okay? And he also said this, John, 1 John 2, verse 15. Um, it reads, in fact, uh, uh, um, 1 John 2. Yeah. Let's get, let's get it in... Um, this Bible here. First John. First John 2. Verse 15. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. In other words, give it up. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. But these men, these men surely love the world. They're rich. Jakes, did he own them? They're rich. Right? So they don't have the love of the Father in them. They don't have the Holy Spirit dwelling with them. Alright, the Holy Spirit gives all wisdom. You know you shouldn't be doing that shit. Alright, verse 16 says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, abideth forever. So don't be fooled by these rich guys Thinking that they all this, they all they're nothings. They are low level, they are low lives. Right? The true 
dignitaries, the true high level men and women are of the elect and they will have eternal life. So I pray this lesson was edifying T.D. Jakes, the false prophet exposed, all right, and his wickedness, you know, that he's done against the children of Israel, all right, as a false prophet, a false pastor, all right. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule well, peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000, till next time, Abad, Babal, Babal, and Shalawam.